Today, we're gonna to answer the question, can you actually do keto and intermittent fasting if you have a gallstone? The first question is, what is a gallstone made of? Now, there are several different types of gallstones, but the most common is the cholesterol gallstone. But all of them have several ingredients in common. They contain some cholesterol, they contain some bilirubin, which is a pigment as a byproduct from the red blood cell. They have phosphates and calcium carbonate, okay? So that's what makes up a gallstone. So the next question is, what actually causes a gallstone? So it's a combination of mainly two things, but there's a, some other things, but mainly it's two things. Too much cholesterol with too little bile. When you don't have enough bile, you get this super saturation of cholesterol and it can form into a stone, especially if there's congestion within the gallbladder and maybe the gallbladder is not contracting properly or something is blocking it or you have sludge in there. Uh, that's what basically creates a stone. Oh, and by the way, if you haven't subscribed to my video, click the red button down below, somewhere down on this side over here and that little bell icon, which allows you to get notifications. This way you can also find out when I do my live Q&A each week. So the most important thing you need to know about this video is that the composition of a gallstone is not the same thing as bile. Bile is made in the liver up here, okay, liver, and it drains down through a little tube and it goes into the gallbladder, which is just a sac. And the purpose of the sac is to concentrate bile salts. So in the gallbladder, you have this really concentrated solution of bile salts, like 20 times concentrated. This bile salt that's super concentrated is not the same consistency as what's in a gallstone. So sometimes people think that a gallstone is really concentrated bile. A gallstone is created with a deficiency of bile and at the same time, too much cholesterol. So the majority of a gallstone is made out of cholesterol simply because there's not enough bile there. So, so this is important because when you do fasting, you're gonna be concentrating the bile even more and that is not gonna trigger a gallstone. So fasting does not cause gallstones at all. Now the next thing you need to know is what else can cause a super saturated amount of cholesterol. And that is a situation where the gallbladder is not contracting anymore. It's not releasing its bile. So it just sits there and there's cholesterol that comes in there and it forms stones. So if you're not triggering the gallbladder to release its contents over a long period of time, that could potentially cause a gallstone. So now the question is, what actually triggers the release of this bile from the gallbladder. What causes it to contract? Well, guess what? Saturated fats. It's saturated fats. Well, guess what a ketogenic diet is? It's a high fat diet. It's a low carb, high fat. So when you do keto, you're going to be releasing a lot of this bile on a regular basis. If you add intermittent fasting, you're going to concentrate the bile. So these two things right here, keto and IF, done healthily, actually decrease the risk of gallstones. What increases the risk of gallstones is a low fat diet. Why? Because there's not enough fat to trigger the release of bile to dissolve the stone, to keep it uh, from saturating. A couple other things you need to know. High estrogen, especially when a woman is pregnant, for example, or on birth control pills or hormone replacement therapy can also trigger gallstones. Also high insulin, as in diabetics, especially type two, can also increase the risk of gallstones. And guess what keto is? It's the opposite of this. You're normalizing insulin, you're lowering it. So you're gonna improve the situation. And the other thing that you need to know is a common treatment for gallstones is taking purified bile salts, okay? So really gallstones are coming from too little bile, not too much. All right, thanks for watching. And if you haven't already subscribed, click the red button below and that little bell icon so you can be notified of all the new videos that I'm gonna be releasing. And I have some very cool and interesting videos coming up in the next coming weeks. Plus, in addition to that, you'll be notified of the live Q&A sessions 
that I'm going to be doing throughout the week, and you don't want to miss those as well. So stay tuned for more great content.